stuff, whatever. But like, I ain't taking you serious, serious. So, you know. But uh, this is the main reason why I made this video because I know brothers be out here allowing this nonsense. And unfortunately for this dude, he's no longer with us. He's no longer with us. So that should that should show all of y'all how how serious you should take these things. I made a couple videos and 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 in those videos I've said I do not allow a woman to put their hands on me. Period point blank. Now, I'm not out here saying like I'm here to fuck a uh Fucking knock a bitch out. No, 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 no. Hell no. I'm saying like, that ain't it. But, I don't take any threats lightly. Period. Whether it's coming from a teenager, an old person, a, 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 a man, a woman, I don't know. I don't know. We don't do that. You know? Cause one, because I, I'm fully aware of what humans are capable of. You know, some, some real sick shit. So, I'm not out here to be like, you know... You know, chopped up or some shit. No, no, no. You want to try to put your hands on me? That already, especially if you're a woman, that already tells me that you're you're crazy. Already you're crazy. Because for you to think that you could freaking do anything with me along those lines, you, you're nuts. So, I got to neutralize that threat. So, again, I'm not he out here to condone um, men beating up women or putting their hands on women. No, not at all. But, again... This brother right here is dead and gone. Alright, and I'm not here to make, make light of the situation, but that's the reality. He's dead and gone. He's not coming back. And y'all hear the way she's talking to him in this video. Y'all think this is the first and only time she ever spoke to him like that? Before she killed him? Keep thinking that if you want to. <laughs> Fucking Charlie! I'm sorry, Corey. I don't care. Fucking Charlie! Hey, okay, just stop. Don't talk to me. <sighs> Your phone just, uh, I was expecting to hear a, you know, <laughs> I don't have your phone, you know, just, <laughs> I'm sorry, again, I, I don't condone, I don't condone that, but it's just, like, if he was going to hit her, that would have been a time when he was like, but I can't find you, got the, <laughs> he would have hit her with the fucking, how do you, can, <laughs> oh, man, hey, look, look, man, I'm laughing, but again, it, it's not, it's not. The, what happened to him isn't funny. But what happened to him is going to happen to somebody else. That's why like, share, and subscribe this video. Well, like, share, subscribe um, to the you know to the channel and all that stuff. Mainly share the video, spread the word. You know, save save a nigga's life. <laughs> no, seriously, save save a nigga's life, man. Because at this point, you know, what do you got to lose? You know what I'm saying? What do you have to lose? These these dudes out here just acting acting a fool, man. And 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 there's different levels to it, right? Like he's not out here on some ultra nigga shit acting a fool. You know what I'm saying? You know I do videos about that type of stuff too. Where niggas just out there living wild, and then you know they get killed or whatever. And hey, you live that life, you are gonna die that way. So you know he's not living like that but it's like at the end of the day by my brother you need to understand something well first and foremost you're a, you, well, you're supposed to be a man and that's supposed to be your woman right uh so there there's a there's, there's a level of respect that needs to be there one and interactions are supposed to go a certain way and that is not it that is not it that is not it <laughs> you know and unfortunately you know, maybe maybe this brother, well, you know, he didn't, uh, he wasn't privy to the information that, I, that I'm kicking out on this channel or that other channels are kicking out. 
and you know, he winded up actually like she stabbed she stabbed this dude to death. She stabbed him to death. Stabbed him to death. He he bled out in the in the apartment. He died. And I think he was what twenty in his mid uh, early to mid twenties. Uh, same for her, early to mid twenties. So, like that shit happens. Shit goes south real fast, especially if you're not paying attention to what's going on around you, and you want to not take uh, threats lightly. And you want to normalize the unnormal or, you know, like, no, you, you'll wind up like that. I can only imagine what was going through this brother's head as he's literally like, you know, bleeding out. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm actually, I'm actually dying. I can't believe she actually did this. I'm saying like, like or like, shit. I should have known. I'm saying because he knows her more or he knew her more than we do. So again, it's just it's just things that I think about when when uh, you know I hear about stuff like this and I I uh, listen to the cases. It's like man, that's just un- very unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate. He could have still been alive. He'd be like, you know, this bitch is crazy. This bitch is certified crazy. You know what? I am good. Have a good day to you. Have a good day to you. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you got to wear 15 pounds of makeup anyway to look like that. So like like I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And if not for nothing, like, I'm a quote-unquote black man. I could get, you know what I'm saying? I got you. You know what I'm saying? I, I could get another you. I get a better you because I'm the draw. I'm the catch. But a lot of these dudes out here, they don't have that mindset. They don't have that mindset. They're like, oh, man, you know, what would I do without her? What would I do without her? Oh, man. Like, I'll go crazy. I'll, I'll kill somebody. Like, come on, man. Come on. But let me just play the rest of this tape so y'all can hear it. Can you just please shut up? Just please shut up. You went to go fucking talk to her. I didn't go to go. Yes, you did. You always want to fucking get fucking asshole. Honey, I was all. You literally told me about it. Now he's like, damn. Wait, you yeah, are son. I didn't go to talk to her. I was going on a bike ride. Wait, what the? Get off of me. Let me go to talk to her. Is this going to make you act like this? You literally talked to her without telling me. Courtney, I was on a bike ride and she passed me and I said hi. Uh, you and Courtney are having a, a live chat. My bad, I forgot to tell you that. That doesn't make you an act and call me a f- Brothers. Women, or females for that matter, they are jealous creatures. So whether you're actually doing it or not, they're, they're, they're going to react. They're going to be jealous. They, they may not react like that, especially if you got your shit together and need the, you know that level of understanding. Um, she's definitely not going to react like that. But it's, it's going to manifest itself uh, in different ways in a relationship. So look, understand that. Understand that. You know, that, that's how they are. Now that you got to be like a, a super simp, and, you know, like, oh, hey, well, you know, like, no, no, like, like, hey, you got to report into your chick about every girl that you freaking uh, saw that day or said hello to. No, that's that's totally absurd. That's totally absurd. Uh, but that's what this guy's going through, right? Or he went through. Oh, you, you, uh, you, you said hi to her. Yeah, I was on a bike ride. She rode by. I said hi. Like, like, really? Like, and they shouting and shit like that over there. She's yelling, fuck you, fuck this, and, and all that stuff. And and in, in his mind, he he didn't see no red flags? Like, come on. Come on. Look, brothers, look. If y'all know somebody that's in a relationship like this, let them know, like, hey, there's red flags. I'm not telling you to tell them what to do, because I'm not telling y'all what to do. I'm just letting y'all know what I would do from my perspective. Like, hey, I've seen this story before and far more often than not, it ends like this, which isn't good. So I'll leave you with that. I want you to get away from me. And you know what? Clearly he did not because she killed him sometime after that. I don't think... I'm pretty sure it wasn't the same day of this recording. 
Well, she obviously she did kill him sometime after that. Brothers, listen to this. When people don't want you around, then fucking go. When people don't want you around, go. When people do not want you around, you need to fucking go. Why do you want to be around people that don't want you around? Especially when they make it clear. Especially when they, when they, when they, when they say it to you and they, they make it abundantly clear. They do not want you around. They don't respect you. They don't, they don't care for you like that. Like They don't want you around. They wish you weren't there so that they could do what the hell they want to do. That's basically what it means. Hey, I don't want you around me because there's things I want to do that I can't do because you're here. When, yo, brothers, when not even just when, when chicks do that, when people in your life do that, when they show you that they don't want you around, yo, you should thank them. To be honest with you, you should say thank you and be on your goddamn way. Seriously, you should thank them because more often than not, people aren't going to be that upfront with you about stuff like that. So whenever, whenever you, you get the chance to have someone actually tell you straight up, hey, thank them. Don't take it personal. And just thank them. And like, hey, you know what? Okay. I'm out. I'm out. And obviously, it's much easier said than done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to, a, to a degree. Because a lot of y'all brothers like to be out there falling in love and all this nonsense. And, I, and I've said it before. And uh, I know others have said it. Don't be out here falling in love. That in love shit is not it. That's like getting high. Like being in love is like getting high. You know I'm saying it's a drug. So now you need, you, know, you need it. You go through withdrawals and shit like that. You don't. No, no, no. You shouldn't be in love with anything in the flesh. Because you know what? It could be here today and gone tomorrow. And I don't mean dead tomorrow. I mean like gone. Like she with another nigga. She left. She's gone tomorrow. So no. And then what? You gonna be like, oh, oh, I'm, a, oh, I love her, man. She. She she left with this nigga, she or or she left with my best friend or my cousin or whatever. Because normally that that be the case too. I'm saying it, it be somebody that you know. Now what you you gonna hurt yourself? Uh, hurt her, hurt hurt the kids if you have any. Hurt the other dude. And what sense does that make? When people don't want to be around you, look, they did you a favor. Let them go. Let them go. This chick told this dude to his face, and I'm sure that wasn't the first time she said it. I don't want you around me. So then go, my man. Go. You can't force someone to want what the hell you want. You can't force someone to want what you want. Especially in relationships. That's why in relationships, what you need to do is you need to vet them. Figure out, like, like a job interview, figure out, do they fit the mold of what the hell you're looking for and what you expect out of a, a woman. One, does she even know what the fuck a woman is? Let alone what a man is. And how they're supposed to interact with one another in a healthy way. And that's just a, like the basics. That's the basics. When you're dating a, a, a chick, those are the basics that you should be looking out for. And she's the type like, oh, you know, anything you can do, I can do better. All of that stuff. That, hey, man, hey, you know what? You, she may look good, she may have the fatty and all that stuff and be pretty face and itty bitty wasting. I'm not saying that you can't freak, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, clap them cheeks. But hey, do you. But as in terms of a relationship, you already got to know that that's an L. That's an L. That's an L. That's, that's, that's going to be nothing but heartache. Nothing but heartache. You know what I'm saying? And stress. But brothers don't do that. That's why, again, I say like, share, subscribe, please. Because... Brothers need to hear this. They need to hear this. See that guy? That been just a few weeks before he was stabbed to death by that same woman. She repeatedly called him the N-word and insulted him continually. Obviously, you see clearly she was out of control. Let's put up the picture I have to remind everyone, when she admitted to killing him, she was able to go home.
Yeah, so basically, I just wanted y'all to hear like the audio recording because that's that was new to me and new to many, uh, you know, outside of people that didn't even know about this case. But again, brother, look, there ain't no reason for a woman to be talking to you like that. And if a woman is talking to you like that, it's because you allow that shit. So don't get mad at her and try to flip out and slap her and do all sorts of stuff. And no, 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 get mad at yourself because you allowed that shit. And, on, and, and most times. Not all, not all, but most. That relationship is going to be a dud. It's never going to be the same because she's never going to respect you. She's never going to respect you. So, you just cut that one off and then you go start a new one. And when you start the new one, well, actually, to be honest with you, you probably shouldn't just be going to a new one. You should be, you know, working on yourself, focusing on yourself. You know, that way you could be better the next, the next time. But assuming that you did all that, then yeah, then the next time you do better, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you vet the chick, you make sure that she's, you know, not on some nonsense craziness. And then, you know, you won't have these problems. You know, but anyway, y'all, I wanted to make this one short, but it, it just, uh, I got carried away. <laughs> I got carried away because, you know, as I'm, as I'm speaking to y'all, I'm thinking, and it's like, I know brothers i've seen brothers fall into situations like this just like this and i'm telling you right now it ain't worth it it is not worth it i'm saying her her shit ain't all that i'm telling you it ain't it is not worth your life it ain't worth your life so there's no reason to be out here idolizing Covering after like these these women putting them on pedestals and shit. That's some real simp shit. That's some real simp shit. You supposed to know, nigga. You the fucking prize. You the catch. You create the energy. But too many brothers don't know that. Too many brothers don't understand that, and they don't want to understand it. But until you understand it, we're gonna keep. Going over stories like this is going to continue to happen. But anyway, y'all, be be well. Be very very.